Hi, Dr. Marianne here today. Um, last week, I talked about the rabbit syllable words. Well, today I'm actually going to share the giant rabbit. I go like this, giant rabbit syllables, because kids that are in middle and high school um, are learning some of these bigger words, and they need to understand how you spell them. So I'll get to the camel and tiger next week, but I'm going to jump to the monster rabbit words, and I'm going to share with you um, that you always want to be sure you're using your sound circles with your sound rectangles when you're teaching syllables. And you're going to use your plastic letters um, inside of your scoops, your syllable scoops. So be sure you practice this before you're actually teaching this, the writing. Because we, we have the, uh, the sound first, and then we have the letter association. And then we move into reading and spelling. So I'm going to share my screen because I want to show you how we do this. Now, I'm always going to have my students fold the paper in half like that. And they're going to use both sides. They don't want to use the back of it. So the first word, well, we're going to just write the word monster. Already? Mon. Stir. You want to get your green pen, have your child underline the vowel, and we're going to code it with a V and a V, which means vowel, vowel. So um, let's see, I'm going to have, have you guys ever seen these kind of pens? They were so popular when I was in school. So, you know, it has green and red and black and blue. I just love them. So we're going to put consonant over the three. Now, the, the point of the monster syllable is you want to keep the consonant team together or the digraph. So we're going to put our little arrow in front of the ST, and then we're going to just put it up like that. We don't put scoops. We're just going to put um, like a, a straight line up and then a straight line back. So the syllable would be monster. So the reason we need to know this is if you are writing a sentence for a paper, um, for Halloween, I want to dress up as a monster. The child would, if, if you ran out of uh, space to write on that line and you could only put M-O-N, you'd put a hyphen on this next line, you would write S-T-E-R. So that's why we learn to um, do syllables. So another one would be pilgrim. P-I-L-G-R-I-M. We're gonna get our green, coat our vowels, with the black, consonant, consonant, consonant. So here I wanna keep my G and my R together. So I'm going to go like that. Another one, spell the word hundred. H-U-N-D-R-E-D. -E so these are words that middle schoolers and high schoolers are needing to know. Let's code our vowels. I'm sorry, I didn't underline them. You want to underline them and then code them. Get your black. So here, we're going to keep the DR together. So we're going to put the arrow between the N and the blend. You could call this consonant team. You could call this a digraph. Another word is ostrich. O-S-T-R-I-C-H. Underline your vowel, code it. Keep the blend together. What do you think you'd be? Let's keep the TR together, okay? Ostrich. Alrighty. And then if you have your black coat it. What about the word subtract? See, these are words kids have in their word problems. And they don't know how to read them. They don't know how to spell them. So let's go ahead and introduce them. Subtract. T 
teach that child that that's a monster rabbit word. For some reason, when you have it with an animal name, it takes some of that fear away. So here's our three consonants. We're gonna keep the TR together. So that little carrot is gonna go right there, subtract. Now, when your child sees that word subtract, they're gonna know monster rabbit. Another word is um, enchant. Enchant, we're gonna underline our vowels, encode them. Get our black, and we're gonna keep the CH together. And then we have enchant. Let's do the word hungry. That's a popular word. Always misspelled, isn't it? H-U-N-G-R-Y. Underline those vowels. Now here, our Y is going to serve as a vowel. Hungry. It sounds like an E. We're going to put a V and a V. Here's our black. Your Y. Carrot. We're going to keep the G-R together. Your child will never be intimidated with the word hungry again. Hungry. Let's spell the word hamster. Um, the thing with dyslexic kids are they will add and omit letters and syllables. So when you teach the rabbit syllable types with coding, they're going to remember to keep, the, if you tell that child, this is a monster rabbit word, they're going to have to look for three consonants and divide it. So if they only write it with two consonants, tell them that's a monster rabbit word. It needs one more consonant. Where do you see that consonant? Where do you hear it? What about the word um, panther? Panther. Panther. We're gonna code our vowels. And then we're gonna code our Consonants. We're going to keep the TH together. There you go. So I'm going to give you some to do on your own. I'm going to give you sunscreen. Getting out of summer here. Sunscreen. I'm going to give you wobbly. Wobbly, I want you to write these down. What about distract? This, distract. I'm gonna give you the word display. I'm gonna give you the word increase. And the word Employ and one more word. How about um, increase employ? How about distract? How about complaint? Okay, I want you to pause your video right now. Pause this video, and I want you to code them, okay? And when you're ready to um, unpause it, come back and we'll, and you could see if you did it the way I'm doing it. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna um, just underline. Now this is a double E, but here is your three consonants. Oops. Oh, well, look at here, we have four consonants. That shouldn't even be here, but we're gonna divide it between the N and the S C O. That's really a monster rabbit, isn't it? Here we go. Sunscreen. Actually, we could even consider that as a compound word, couldn't we? So here we have your O and your Y. 
are your vowels. Three consonants. We're going to keep the second B with the L. Wobbly. Okay, how are you doing? We have distract. Code your vowels. We're going to keep the T with the R. Here's your monster rabbit. We have the word display. We're going to go V and V. Three consonants. We're going to keep the PL together. Display. Then we have increase. EA is your vowel. It's a vowel team. We have our three consonants. We're going to keep the CR together. A couple more. We have employ. Oh, why is your verb vowel team? I'm going to teach vowel teams later. I do have some previous videos on vowel teams that you would enjoy. Vowel team. Consonant, consonant, consonant. We're going to keep the PL together. And one last one. It's underland. <laughs> AI says A, so that's another vowel team. Vowel, vowel. Consonant, consonant, consonant. We're going to keep the PL together. So this might seem easy to me. It might seem easy to you. But to a student with dyslexia, having that visual is going to be so important. Um, may, being able to do an association of a monster rabbit where they're learning a digraph is going to stay together. Are you going to keep the first digraph or the second digraph? Well, you got to have a, a consonant in the first syllable so that you're going to separate that first syllable and keep that digraph together in the second syllable. So um, thanks for tuning in. This is a short episode today, but some of these syllable types are short and that's okay. I'm just going to do go through them and help you with them. So we're a 501c3. If you'd like to make a donation to our nonprofit, I have a link below, and will you get a not you'll get a um, receipt for the end of the year, and we appreciate any donation helps. Thanks now, and bye bye now.